Welcome to this week's episode of London Mysteries. Now this week we'll be looking at a theory from a London mystery that's been haunting London since 1888. Of course, it's one of the many theories of Jack the Ripper. London, 1888. The streets of Whitechapel became the hunting ground for one of history's most notorious killers, Jack the Ripper. In the century, theories have swirled around the identity of the elusive murderer, a doctor, a nobleman, an immigrant, or something far more sinister. But what if everything we thought we knew was wrong? What if Jack the Ripper wasn't just one man, but a series of apprentices? This is the story of the Forgotten Apprentice. A theory not ignored, but one that just might be the answer to the Ripper's true identity. Victorian London faced a progress in discovery. Behind the advancement in science and the medicine was dark experiments, ones that would never see the light of day. Among the hidden squalors and secret societies was an infamous surgeon, Dr. Alistair Crawley. Dr. Crawley was a well-respected but reclusive figure who had been quietly removed from practice for his radical views on the human body and his experiments with dissection. He believed that to truly understand death had to push the boundaries of mortality and ethics. Crawley had a reputation for teaching, but only to a select few. One of these students, an unknown young man, would go on to become the apprentice. Some say the apprentice was taken under Crawley's win for one reason, to continue his experiments without the watchful eye of the medical community. Jack the Ripper wasn't born from madness or instant desire to kill. He was created, trained under the guidance of Dr Crawley. The murders of the Whitechapel women were never just random acts of violence, but precise methodical dissections, each one more brutal than the last, as the apprentice honed the dark craft. The Ripper's victims had always removed with such precise that it left many to believe that the killer had medical training. What the police never considered was the possibility of a hidden master, the man behind the curtain, watching his student, ensuring that the work was completed to his exacting standards. One year before the Ripper's killing spree began, Dr. Crawley vanished without a trace. Official records state that he went abroad, but many witnesses at the time claimed they still saw him in London still attending secretive meetings with his inner circle. What if Crawley never left? What if he was hiding in plain sight, orchestrating the Whitechapel murders? So the theory goes that Crawley, fearing exposure, trained his apprentice to carry out the murder in his place. The apprentice's gruesome acts were not just killings, they were part of a twisted curriculum, each murder designed to push the limits of the young man's surgical skill. But something went wrong. The apprentice, now fully immersed in his new role as the Ripper, began to unravel. Crawley's influence could no longer contain his students' grown desire for violence. The final murder was far less precise, more chaotic. The apprentice had learned all he could from Crawley, but now he was acting on his own dark instincts. So, Mary Jane Kelly, the Ripple's final and most savage victim, was said to have been mutilated beyond recognition. This, according to the theory, was the apprentice's ultimate act of rebellion. He had surpassed his master, taking his gruesome lessons to a level even Crawley hadn't anticipated. But after this last lesson, the apprentice just disappeared, just as mysteriously as his mentor once did. Still today, the identity of Jack the Ripper remains unsolved. But if we look at the case through the lens of the Forgotten Apprentice, a different picture emerges. An apprentice trained by a brilliant but twisted surgeon. A man who was created, not born to become a monster. Could it be that we've been searching for the wrong man this whole time? Perhaps Jack the Ripper wasn't just a single killer, but a student who followed in the footsteps of an even darker mentor. A mentor whose name has been lost to history, leaving behind only whispers of the forgotten apprentice. But one thing is for certain, history is full of mysteries, but sometimes the truth is more terrifying than we could ever imagine. So that's quite an interesting theory there, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more London Mysteries. See you in the next one.